What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Celtics basketball. The Celtics once again blow out their opponent, the Sixers, in the Summer League. Uh, but we rode the roller coaster of Carson Edwards, so we're going to go through the entire first quarter of Carson Edwards' plays and evaluate and see how he did. Let's go to the tape. All right, first play, we're going to start here with a negative. Carson has the ball. Uh, and this is going to be a pretty sloppy drive from our guy Carson here. He's going to come. It starts off great. That's an awesome little move there. Can we just, I just want to watch it again. Left, breaks the ankles, immediately right. That's a great move. And you can see what he's done is he's created this giant lane to drive into. And the defense recognizes it. We've got guys turning away and running in to try and fill in and help. We're going to have a bunch of people crash into the paint to try and cover up Carson. But Carson sees that he has his lane. He wants this bucket. He is going 100% determined to score this. And I understand it. He's seeing nobody in front of the basket. This is points. But two guys come in. So now things have changed. Now he has guys between him and the bucket. And not just one guy. Right? This guy stops him from moving forward, but another guy's coming in to potentially block this shot. This isn't a good shot for him. At this moment, he needs to recognize quickly on the fly that he needs to pass this up. And he has passing options. Right, He has a cutter who's cutting up, who's now open. He has an open shooter behind him, who I cannot circle for some reason. Instead of doing that, he's going to go ahead and try and take this shot and brick it. Fortunately, we've got a cleanup man to score that bucket, but it's a bad start. That's a down point for Carson. He needs to recognize that, yeah, he created a great drive opportunity for himself, but this is a classic inside-outside moment, right? He drives in, the defense crashes in, he kicks the ball back outside, right? He needs to do that second step. Right, he brought it inside, kick it out. So now we're gonna get an example of good drive from Carson. Carson's gonna come over, he's gonna take a screen from Fernando, which is going to work, and he's gonna take advantage of that and go around, and he's gonna make his way inside the three-point line, but he's gonna stop and stick his butt out and just put the defender on his back, right? And part of the reason he does this is because he wants to see what number five is gonna do. Number five is now responsible for covering him and 55, right? So he's slowing it down and he's gonna see how five reacts to this situation while keeping his defender out of position to actually play the ball here, right? I like this little move that he does. What he sees is five is gonna kind of back up so he's going to try and take this lane here. Five's going to come in and cover. And when he does that, he's going to pull up and just put the little teardrop up, right? He finds an open shot close to the basket, makes it go down. It's a nice little play. I like that, right? He found an open look. Now we're going to get a good three-point shot, right? We're going to get Fernando. So that's the screen. Now he's got an open shot. Fernando's defender comes running up, but he's too slow. And so, able to take the three and hit it, right? Great. That's another point up for our boy Carson. The bench loves it. Carson acting like it's no big deal. He's been here before. Ugly pass. Let's go back and look at that again because it was so fast. And this is a problem that he had all of last season. That's the right idea because he's got a double team on him. This is what he didn't do last time was two guys were on him and he didn't pass out. But he really doesn't have a passing angle to number nine here. Nine's cutting, but he really doesn't have the angle to get him the ball. So he just tries to force it over and instead just bounces it way wide. No chance on that. And if it wasn't obvious, watch, watch him here. My bad. Yeah, no kidding. As if it wasn't obvious it was your bad. That's an ugly play. That's a, the kind of play that Carson makes way too frequently. His passing is just inconsistent. We're, we're going to see that uh, as we go forward. This drive, I'm not sure if I like it or hate it. 
So he's he's gonna cut inside, fake like he's gonna take the screen and he's gonna roll inside. And I think the reason that I hate this is <clears throat> you're gonna see that at this point, he's actually looking. Like he knows that five has shut down his ability to score here. So you can see he's turned his head, he's looking this way, right? The problem is when he does that, he he probably doesn't see the cutter behind him in his periphery, but he's gotta see our boy here, right? Now that's tricky because 44 could jump in and try and get in the way of the pass. Maybe he sees that, so he's a little bit in no man's land. He's gonna just go for the shot here, which gets immediately blocked. It stays Celtic's ball because it's off the defender. So he's high-fiving. Yeah, good job, good job. But it really isn't a good job, right? Uh, that's a play where instead of shooting, I wish he was more under control, pulled back, and uh, tried to find a netter passing option or just backed out of it, right? But he did not. All right, this one's quick too. We're gonna get a bad pass here. He's gonna pass it over here. Our guy's gonna come backwards, but you watch the defender. The defender cuts before this ball is even out of Carson's hand. So he's gonna slash in and just get in the way of that basketball. And they talk about it. Gonna stay with the Celtics. This is a bad pass. You can't put the pass in the range of the defender to be able to jump out there and swat it away. That's an ugly looking pass. He's lucky that it didn't go the other way uh, and be an easy score for the Sixers on that one. Uh, so now we're gonna get, after the bad pass, a good drive. Cuts inside, great move. We saw that earlier to get around his defender and he has this great lane and he's gonna do something that I talk about on this channel a lot. He's gonna put his body in between his shot and the defender. He's gonna reach his arm out as far as he can so that the defender can't touch the ball, boink, and put it up there real easy, right? Great, you can see we're on the roller coaster ride of Carson Edwards. For every score, we have a turnover. For every bad pass, we have a three, right? It's all over the place with this guy. All right, now on defense, what does he do? He goes around the screen, right? Jumps over the top of it, which is great because he's able to steal the ball, bring it back down, and score the layup, right? Once again, we're on the roller coaster, right? We had the bad pass, then we had the good drive, then we had the steal for the score, and now we're gonna get another bad pass here in a second. As he goes down the court, the, the bench, they're now out of it. They were happy earlier. Now they're like, whatever. Carson Edwards is scoring again. We got dudes reading the nutritional value on Sour Patch Kids. We've got mask adjustments, All right? We've got this guy. At least he pulled the mask down. So like pretend that there was some excitement. Real exciting summer league action. And here we go, Carson Edwards. Now this one's tough because uh, this stays Celtics ball because it is tipped by the Sixers. However, again, in range of the Sixers defender to be able to slap this ball away. Oop. Like that's happening too much. This is now a pattern of behavior and not one mistake. But. Okay, here we go. We've got one more highlight. Maybe this is gonna be it, right? Carson comes around, gets the ball, comes off the screen, takes the shot. Well, he does a little dribble move, his okay. shot, and at, you know, it looked, it looked like a swish, but it is nothing. It totally misses. And here's the thing. Let's see if I can get a good pause with this. He does the dribble move. Perfect. This is an open shot, but it's tough to hit a shot. Look at how his legs are right now. He's bow-legged, right? That's not a great basketball shooting form. I want you to think about the last time you shot a basketball this way and felt like, uh, yeah, this was right. 
right? This must feel wrong. So he takes that shot. There's no wonder why he bricks it. And you see guys like Jason Tatum take that kind of step back three and score it. But that's because he's Jason Tatum and he's very, very good. And Carson Edwards is a second year, like deep bench player, right? He's not at that level. I love the roller coaster of Carson Edwards. It's fun to watch. You go from loving the guy one second to hating the guy like 30 seconds later, right? He's up and down and up and down. And overall in this game, I also want to give him credit. He played pretty good defense. It wasn't amazing, right? He wasn't prime year Marcus Smart, right? Uh, but he wasn't bad, right? He was pretty good the whole game on defense. So I want to give him an enter point for that. Overall, what I would love to see out of Edwards is more control, right? More uh, basketball IQ, right? Make the smarter passes. Put those passes in the right spot for guys, right? Make sure you're always taking the smart shot. Don't be afraid to give up on something if it's not working, right? Don't just drive and force a shot up, right? Look around, see if anybody's open. Pull out if you know it's going to be a miss. Don't waste those possessions, right? It's all about basketball IQ for this guy and learning the game better, right? Because just jacking up shots, that might have worked for him a little bit more in college. It's not going to work at this level, right? He's got to do better. Uh, And hopefully, over the course of this season, we see improvement uh, as the young player grows. If you like this video, we're, we're going to the finals, baby. Summer League finals. A nice chaser after a really tough... Uh, to swallow regular season last year. Going to the finals, gonna try and win that Summer League Championship. If you wanna see a video about that, like, comment, subscribe, do the YouTube stuff. Join the Celtics Discord. The link is in the description down below. Would love to see you over there. And I will see you next video. Go Seas.